What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Movie Emporium's TV review of Poker Face Season 1, Episode 6, which is Exit Stage Death. This episode is directed by Ben Sinclair. Okay, so we have another episode on our hands of, of course, Poker Face, uh, the Ryan Johnson series starring, of course, Natasha Leone. Uh, this is an episode that actually co-stars Ellen Barkin, Tim Meadows, and Jamila Jamil. It's not a bad episode, to be fairly honest. It's an entertaining episode with a lot of heart. It just isn't the best episode of the season. It is an episode that, once again, shows that I think the sticking to this formula may be a detriment a little bit to its uh, kind of premise and promise. It doesn't mean it's not interesting because Natasha Tasha Leone is giving, I think, an Emmy level performance in every every like episode that she does. She's just so good in this role and does such a nice job. It just I feel like the fact that she just happens, like I said, week by week, she happens to be kind of like Columbo, where she just happens to be in the in the spot where the the violent act happens, where the death happens, and that's exactly what happens here. She, you know, this episode, as all episodes have started out, and probably all episodes will start out as we get about half. Uh, about 15 minutes into the episode where we kind of learn about these supporting characters we learn you know tim meadows is dating jamil jamila jamil's character and she is very rich he's kind of a washed up actor we get the introduction to ellen barkin who is this washed up actress very posh she's desperate to kind of go back on the stage to do this play that she did in the 90s that was made her very very famous she somehow convinces through jamila jamil to basically to get tim meadow tim meadows character to come in and do the play and then we find out there is a kind of animosity between the two individuals as we learn through the kind of first act of this episode but it basically sees this play that is going to be put on for two nights and we're going to we see that ellen barkin's kind of a um a very not nice person she's very forceful she's very stressed uh to the crowd and to the audience and to you know the people that are putting on this play she's very mean she's very kind of uh, uh just very just very mean i guess is the easiest way to put it and in the process as the as the episode moves along and as we learn more and more about these people they're just tim meadows and ellen barkin's character are just going at it with one another just constantly fighting and then we get to the final the night where the opening of this play and <laughs> the two individuals the ellen barkin and tim meadows character during an act break where the uh the other young actresses who's in this role basically they decide they're going to sabotage each other and murder each other so tim meadows goes under the stage because there's a, a point where ellen barkin's character basically says you know i want a trap door sequence and they're like oh this is very dangerous she's like i don't care if it's dangerous you're going to do it and they agree to it he basically at some point there was supposed to be a map put under the where the trap door is but it never got put under there and so tim meadows character as they're arguing with one another as they're you know back and forth with one another tim meadows takes a piece of dry ice goes under the stage puts it where the lock would be you know that would eventually fall through ellen barkin's character climbs the ladder and actually loosens one of the uh lights one of the the big lights that they use and they think they got the upper hand upon one another and in the process of everything the uh trap door doesn't break and then of course the uh the light actually almost hits and kills of course uh tim meadows's character but he's because of the whole incident he's having chest pains his girlfriend Jamil Jamil's character comes on and she actually ends up falling through the uh, trap door ends up killing herself on the stage because they didn't put the mat down and that's when Natasha Leone's character comes into the mix and she is of course a waitress she's working you know to keep herself you know and you know pay and stuff like that and as we learn she starts to uncover the whole idea what we find out of course is Tim Meadows and Olin Barkin are a thing they love each other maybe through the infighting who knows they basically are going to take the money from the Jamila Jamil's character live off her money now that she's dead all that good stuff and of course being this type of show there are pieces and parts that are automatically given to natasha the other character that we already know that kind of gives her you know the poker face the idea of telling who's what and doing what the uh, other young actress of course uh, blackmails the two individuals for money because she figures out what well, figures out what's going on of course, Natasha Leone figures out the trap door with the dry ice. She figures out the, you know, the, the light from, of course, the uh, top because she sees a small piece of red hair from Ellen Barkin's character. Figures out that they're falling in love. And she, of course, does what she does every episode. She calls the police. And therefore, you know, you think she, they're going to get arrested. And they figure out because she has hidden um, uh, walkie-talkie devices in the the room as they walk in there because she... she <laughs> Natasha Leone's character actually runs on stage because she realizes that they're going to kill the young actress and by by having her eat like the Chex Mix stuff like that. And I thought that was kind of funny because 
you know, once she figures it out, she runs on stage and she knocks the food out of the way and stuff like that. And then it basically leads to these two individuals, the Tim Meadows and Ellen Barkin character, figuring out what's going on. They see the the microphones. They realize they're caught. They're caught. They say, screw it. Let's just finish out the show. We're going to be arrested anyways. And it leads to, you know, of course, Natasha Leone watching as the police come in. And of course, Ellen Barkin's character gives this like moving, rousing last part of her speech for the play and she uh as everybody's crying even the police are crying she actually falls through the stage to the end of the episode it's pretty much that straightforward of a type of conclusion now it could be either here or there whether she made it or she died just based on the kind of speech that she gives in her uh, monologue and stuff like that or dialogue but it's pretty safe to say once the police comes in you know whether there's a mattress underneath or not i'm sure, pretty sure there is so she'll go to jail and he'll go to jail and stuff like that and i'm sure the young actress for blackmail will go to jail and whatnot and it ends up becoming you know once again it's an episode that you kind of have to suspend disbelief a little bit because once again charlie's character natasha leone's character is just at this place where somebody dies i'm surprised she doesn't have ptsd from so many people she's seen die it's just it's pretty crazy to see it's almost like there's alternate universes each episode and she just happens to be in that, that particular spot but it's not a bad episode with the simple fact that you know it still has a fun mystery you learn about the mystery you know exactly what's happening and you get to kind of follow charlie's character as she learns a little bit about what's happening she discovers the mysteries and clues even though you're kind of like five steps ahead of her already, you know that these two individuals have committed the act and committed the murder. And it's very much a detective show. It's very much a mystery of the week show or death of the week show type of thing. It's very much Columbo. You just get, you just know all the pieces and parts, but it's just fun to watch Charlie or Natasha Lone's character just figure it out. And the problem is, it's just, this episode is similar to the one with uh, Lil Ra Howery's character and him and his like killing his brother and stuff like that. It feels very much similar to that. It's an episode I just don't think is the best of the season. And I think uh, as much as I like Ellen Barkin and Tim Meadows, they don't really have great chemistry together. They they play off each other well when they're bickering, but when they when you try to make it so that they you believe that they're trying to believe make you believe that they're in love, it's just I didn't really fall for that. I mean, t I think Ellen Barkin's on a whole different level than even Tim Meadows is in his his own acting career. And I think Tim Meadows is a great comedic actor or comedic actor, but I just don't think he really does a really good job here. I just think this is a very middling kind of like seven and a half out of ten type of episode. It doesn't make it bad, but I just think. You know, the way it plays out, how easy it is, how the central mystery and the discovery of what Charlie is able to do. It's more about showing the the old nature of how, you know, Hollywood and the world of Hollywood. Even Ellen Barkin's character says something about how, like, you're, you start out as, like, the hot actress and you become, like, the mother and then you become, like, the the one with like the dementia or something like that. That's kind of like how Hollywood is. So there is good points in there and there's some good stuff and watching her kind of take charge and kind of trying to relive her past as like the domine domineer type woman. It, it's fine, but it just, in the end, like the having them murder the young woman, they can take her money. I just, I felt that kind of diluted and diluted the episode a little bit. So it was a little problematic. And I just think the story's just not well written. That's just how I feel. I mean, it's not a bad episode. I still enjoyed it. I mean, I'm, it's just, the unfortunate nature of tv there's always going to be some episodes that are better than others but i still think natasha lone's great i still think aaron ellen barkin does a nice job tim meadows does what he needs to do and you know jamila jamil you know she was in she hulk and she's been in some other things and i just think she's an actress that is much much better than what she's given half the time which is kind of kind of funny for an actress i think it has a lot more potential than what she's being given so anyways with that said that'll do it that'll be my take on this uh season one episode six of poker face which is exit sage death um like i said seven and a half out of ten so yeah it is what it is so anyways with that said that'll do it that'll be my take thank you so much for watching comments below let me know what you think of the episode did you like it did you not like it all that good stuff otherwise if you like what you see on this channel awesome hit the subscribe button to join movie emporium hit that notification bell top to find what's coming next if you like the video awesome hit that like button and uh we'll see you guys in the next video for poker face peace out guys